Good evening. Uh, welcome to the Wednesday, February 13th, 2009 uh, Capital Improvement Committee meeting. Uh, excuse me, you're right, 2019 at 5 p.m. 2009. Okay, just off well, 10 time, years. That's time all right. flies. Yeah, time flies. So it is Wednesday, February 13th, 2019, 5 p.m. We are opening this capital improvement committee meeting. First, uh, of course, on the agenda is review the minutes and approve those. Um, I make a motion to approve the minutes as presented. Thank you, Jack. Jack. Oh, You're welcome. Thank you, Jack. Um, Question. Yes. Yeah. Um, didn't we vote on the priority? Um, I, votes to discuss. I listened to the tape and we did not. We, did we didn't not. take an official vote. Which mm -hmm. is good. And maybe we Straw, should. Yeah, I don't know. Should we? I, I don't think it's necessary. Okay. It wasn't yeah. like binding on, right. on okay. anything. Right. I mean, right. We can do a quick summary of it if if. if no, I didn't wanted. know if it had to be. Right. We had to slam the gavel. Um, I have some new information on the town. Um, common project. Did did we want? Okay, to could we hold I'll, on that I'll till we till we get the, to uh, that? Minutes. Yeah. So it's been uh, motion's been made. It's been seconded. Any discussion? Then Second. we'll vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Okay, so we're. Six zero zero. Okay, we we uh, as a committee had twelve requests come in for capital improvement request, and we as a committee went through and decided that we would try because of the financial situation of the town and still uh, a little bit of a moving target we felt as a committee that it'd be wise to do a priority list and then vote them as far as that priority list uh, pending the funding uh, if all goes well maybe we can fund everything if not then we're going to have to go according to our list uh, considerations for the list if I remember correctly and please correct me if I'm wrong was the community safety of the project uh, the need of the project available options or possible options and the last being that we actually tried to sprinkle in a little common sense too of the process so that's my recollection of it, excuse me, and that's where we stand now. So uh, with that being said, we will start to go through our list and we will be voting those tonight as far as recommendation, non-recommendation, or otherwise. Um, could I just um, give you the updated information on the Town Common project? because that might, um, want, people might want to hold on that, voting on that. Um, yeah, that's number nine on our list. Nine, number nine. Um, the current thinking is that the maximum amount you can get every year is 400,000. So they're breaking down, trying to break down the work. Um, and so they would put 40,000 the first year, 40,000 the second year, and 25,000 the third year. Um, and they're still refining it. Um, they're going to try to have another meeting very soon, so more information is forthcoming. So, so say again. So they're they're now asking for 40. say again forty thousand this year. Yes, instead of ninety seven thousand. That was the rough estimate of for the whole project, but um, so for the project, the soft costs. This is well. It's I, I, I think our understanding was that the 97000 is all soft costs. Yes, yes, but I meant for the total project from start to finish. But 
they would probably break it down into three years because you can only get 400,000 a year. So the idea was. Uh, 400,000 from whom? From the state for the, for the street, com complete streets. So you would have 400 the first year, 400 the second okay. year, and 250 the second year. We can discuss that. They're still that. working right. on that. Yeah, but, we can discuss but, that further when we hit that, because I do I, have some questions, okay. too, Okay, yeah, that. yeah. I, so. What? Yeah. Uh, well, I, I, I have to say I don't really have complete answers. Trevor was unable to make it tonight. Yeah, no, we'll, we can discuss that when we hit there. Um, they have, uh, or they had teacher negotiations scheduled or something like that. I don't know. Okay. The first thing we have on the uh, ranking was the wastewater treatment plan. Now, uh, this, we've already voted and it will be, or recommended, let's put it that way. We've already voted to recommend $1 million, uh, and that will be brought forth to the special town meeting February 25th. Do I have that correct? Yes. So uh, that, that, million, that million dollars has been recommended. We have here, and I believe it should be for. So that was for the emergency. I'm sorry. That, yeah. That was for the emergency clarifier repair. repair. Right. Yes. That the state. And, right. And um, right. Trevor and Trevor had um, met to, and Kevin met with DEP and they did get that letter. So right. it's going into our application process. Right. So, so we, we should cross off 209 FY on here, right? Yeah. Cross right. Off 209. Because now I was on, confused. I was right. On number one now. Uh, so this is for 2020. This is this for is FY another, 2020. Another million dollars or 955,000. Right. We have 955,760 dollars. That came from uh, the Prick. schedule that Prickett has. Uh, we don't know for sure if we're going to be at that stage where we need that for FY 2020 but we felt it was important to have it there. We may need less, we may need more. Uh, our understanding is that uh, there will be a second phase for probably 2021, and that could be anywhere from 5 million to 11 million, depending on the work that needs to be done. Uh, we did not feel comfortable as a committee to leave out for 2020 uh, this item and simply put a zero there because we may need some money uh, for whatever reason in the wastewater treatment plant as we all know is a top priority for Deerfield. Um, uh, we don't really have a whole lot of choice in that matter. No, we're, we're under a regulatory requirement and um, I do want to say though that it would be short-term borrowing with the hope of getting the loan. And if we don't get the loan um, and grant from the USDA, then um, this changes how we're going to be approaching everything. So it will come back one way or the other, or it will be picked up and covered under the grant. Right, but we're the hoping idea, we'll get some grant money. Right, but the idea of putting it in for 2020 is so we can start the work because we're under requirement to get it done by the end of the year. So when we're saying work, what, what ex remind me, what exactly is this? Um, it's a temporary um, tanks. No, no, we already voted that. Clarifier oh, is what's yeah. Yeah. Clarifier is 2019. That. That's 2019 for the special town. That's this all is, done. This is, this is for 2020 and... Which could be additional is soft costs. Soft costs, engineering. Engineering uh, and things of that nature for the 2021 year. It really depends on what happens. Uh, we'll know whether we're going to get the grant or not by special, by regular town meeting, hopefully. Or Isn't an it? indication. If we made it into the so, pipeline, then oh, so, that So what does everything. Prickett say? That's what I'm looking 20, um, I'm embarrassed that I'm. No, no, no! Don't be. I. It's very confusing. That I was confused. Carrying this around. Plus, it's changed million. around. That has yes, changed yes, around yes, because the clarifier. Um, I believe Prickett's numbers only include the users. They only include users' uh, costs. I don't think they include the 
This is this is the total. It's total cost. Yeah. Total. I think it's total cost. Yeah. Yes. Because your total cost is going to be if we don't get grant. No, I mean such such. We're going to be like about thirty six million. That's why this committee is trying to be as careful as we can. And oh, I understand. That. And yeah. Well, when I look at cricket numbers, I believe I thought he said that when he showed the rate increases, the value was only based on the users. Well, no, that I was. I don't know if that's the rate, though. Right. We're that talking about the project, not right. the rate. Well, the rate, I know the rate is adjusted because of the project cost. Right. That was still to be determined. That's why I had a hard time uh, it, it a couple meetings ago voting for that because yep. it's still kind of a moving target. It needs to be done, brought forward for the, for the 19 for the special town meeting. But well, even with that, I'm. I'm struggling with it. I'd like to, it'd be nice if we had a little more defined uh, request. Right, request yeah, or. Has come in as an official request or? It has not. This, this has not. It's been discussed with. We with, don't have enough information. Right, and we just don't. <clears throat> it has been discussed with the selectmen, and we just don't have enough information. So at we this won't be point. voting on this. Yeah, on um, one, we will be voting okay. on it. I think it's important that, as a placeholder, right. we don't know what the number is really going to be, but we know we have to do something, and and we and that's the number one priority because we don't have really a choice. So you have to be able to flush your toys. We know we have to do something with this. I I myself feel very uncomfortable voting without knowing all the facts. With the sewer, though, it's been pretty much spelled out. When and how has not been spelled out, but it's been pretty much spelled out the overall uh, project of what needs to be done in the total of what we're facing. Uh, to, I guess, to, to try to make sense of this, to put something in the budget for, for the 2020, at least we'd have some money there instead of just doing a flat zero and then have to scramble like we did this year for 2019. I just, myself personally, I did not feel comfortable with that. If we don't need it for 2020, we just bump that forward in our five-year plan towards the 2021. I, um, I really appreciate that. I know it's, it's, very, um, it's very difficult because we just don't have concrete information on how we're going to go forward. There's no question we are going to go forward and we need to make sure there's a placeholder there but it truly is just a placeholder at this point bruce um, if it is a placeholder um, if it's not used it would go to free cash is that correct no if we're going to authorize um, spending of nine hundred fifty five thousand, it would be carried over bruce if it's next appropriated year. right don't if it'll even be appropriate if the town appropriates if it the town if they vote it, it it would be if it wasn't spent my understanding is it would be carried over to 2021 okay. all we're doing is recommending it yeah because we have we, we have a few and, right uh, we have a few accounts that have been carried over for a couple of years now uh as far as projects in the works uh but have not spent the entire amount yeah so it Just will a big carry chunk over. of money to put it on this year's budget. That's all. Well, and yeah. al but also 2020, the money would be available from the um, sewer reserves, which is not available. Different project, but the spending. Never mind. Well, anyway, I think anyway, our committee we're just we're just making a recommend recommendation that. And then, oh, I understand. And then, so and I understand, finance committee, the select as far board, as the, the finance committee and the select everybody. board, I, I understand where you're coming from, yeah. Bruce. Because uh, if the finance committee uh, takes a look at numbers further down the road here. We don't have 900. Right, we don't have that money. The answer is going to be can't, the finance committee can't we'll recommend it. Right. And that's the only way we're going to get the additional money. And we wouldn't do that until we had definitive so then plans. We can't put it in the budget. Yes, you can. You can do it as a placeholder. Okay. All right. Okay, so we kind of did this backwards. Is there a motion here? 
Do you want this as an individual or do you want to just talk about it and then vote total? I think we should probably do individual. Okay, I make a motion to approve the wastewater treatment plant expenditure of $955,760 potentially for 2020. Max, it's like maximum. I don't know potentially, but maximum. You have to vote it or not vote it. You no, can't. potentially, I think she means if it's needed. I know, but. It all comes down to pending funded right. funds anyway. So. <laughs> I don't know how you it make it. It always up. does come down to money. So right. um, no I, more than I agree with Jeff that we should not put zero there just because yeah. the way it was structured, 2021 was the first time that we would actually have to pay money. But I, I, I think we're doing this a little bit different because of the repairing of the clarifying arm. And I'm not really sure in my mind how we start this process other than hopefully we're going to get a grant and that will start assuming the costs of this. I'm sorry I missed the presentation. It is, it's up in the air at the moment because it changed with the DEP letter. So we have uh, a motion. Do we have a second? Yeah, I'll second that. Okay, discussion? Further discussion? I don't know. Here, here we are back again. We don't know what we're. That's what I'm. That's I, I'm no, still. So I have a question. Oh, we got. Do we know if we're going like the, all the paperwork has been submitted for the grant application, correct? Or will be. No, nope, it will. We just got the letter. But well, that's all paid for, correct? Yes, that's, that's part all. of. That was part of the special previous, town meeting. Yeah, previous money. budgeting. And hopefully that will. I mean. No money is really going to be spent until we find out about the grant one way or the other. Then we're moving ahead, but we had to appropriate the money so in case we had to do some expenditures before July. But if we, we don't say grant, it's for, we're still going to have to we're still going to have to spend it. Somehow. Yes, but it's going to change and how if we do not get the grant, it's going to change how we. The, it's such a huge amount of money that we're going to have to figure out a, a much more definitive timeline. The idea is to get our application in and hopefully we'll get half of it paid for and get a very low interest 40 year loan but if for the rest. But if that doesn't happen, then obviously the committee's coming together with the sewer committee and we're gonna have, I would say, probably several different meetings to try to come up with, brainstorm the absolute best um, solution. So we're, this is hedging. I mean, as far as I can tell, it's money that is either not going to be spent or it is money that we see coming because we've got to make it work uh, because not having this functioning sewer is not an option. So um, it's I, part I, of the way of just holding holding us accountable to this because either way. Well, I think it's important that we have to acknowledge that we're going to be spending some money. Right. There's no question. And Kevin and Trevor are, you know, we're working with Dave Prickett to try to get this application finished with right. the DEP letter, which makes it much more um, a forceful uh, story for us. And um, hopefully... Improves our, improves our chances. Improves and, our chances, right. And the bottom line is, I, I think some of this is managing the perception of the town. I think that the town needs to see these big numbers. I don't necessarily, you know, I think that some of the people in town need to see how this... I miss this. I keep trying to make sense of it, and I, I know people who went there said it made a lot of sense at the time, but I still, it's hard to get your hands around what the, the very... The different moving parts. And different as moving said, parts. it took me two years to really... Right. And, and actually it's changed anyway, so... Yeah, sure, sure. So, well, it's changed, but it, the, the, the priorities maybe have changed because because part of the system actually broke. And, right, right, right. You know, and, <laughs> and, this, and it could change again. Right. You know, any, anything could break in that. In right. The, in which would the push the, push the priority list the, yeah. uh, again. But it's, nonetheless, the priority is still there. And those are, n nothing's going to actually suddenly get better. No. So in other words, so in other words, we're recommending. We're looking for gifts. <laughs> I mean, no fun. That, that the, that the town yes. spend up to a million dollars toward potential costs of 
upgrading the sewage treatment, the two sewage treatment plants. And that's the... Can't we refer to Perkins? Schedule. Well, report that he did? Well, what does he, he, what does he do say, what does he say for 2020? I haven't actually Pardon? seen that. What does he say for 2020? Well, he doesn't take each, you'd have to go through, he says for 2020. He, he phases He has it. the amount. Right. But he doesn't you, correlate it. I couldn't find where it correlates it with, with what is going to be To what's going to be done. What's the amount? Yeah. 955. The amount 70. we have here for next year, oh, for okay. 2020. So, so I, I think we need to stick with that amount. So we're sticking, we're so, so we're recommending that the, that the town Appropriate potentially potentially appropriate nine hundred fifty five thousand. Be prepared to appropriate. We don't pursuant to uh, Prickett Engineering's recommendation. Yeah, per their schedule, yeah. until yeah. the schedule is re, re updated with new information. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. See, that's that's if you remember correctly, I abstained for the twenty nineteen, and it wasn't because of the dollar amount. It's not because of the project, but it's just the confusion on the process. And I'm not blaming anybody because it's a huge undertaking and we're trying to do the right thing and we've got the pressure from the state for this first phase anyways uh, that was well, the, brought the, to our attention, let's put it that way. <laughs> the, so, clarifier, well, the clarifier <laughs> was always... Right. The clarifier was always going to be one of the um, right. repair jobs Items because anyways. we only have one clarifier. Right. Yeah. Uh, the second clarifier is right. already broken. So, so but, anyways, myself, I... But having broken it... Right. I, I understand the there's confusion with this. Enough. I'm not comfortable with it again. I may vote to abstain again only because of the process, but that's just... Well, I, I'm struggling with it. Well, I guess I feel comfortable voting for it based on Prickett's plan. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so. Okay, so we have a motion, we have a second. Any further discussion? All right, then we'll vote it. So the motion is to recommend that the town spend, appropriate, what's the? I, I think we're just recommending. We're just project, recommending. Right? We recommend, recommend that the right. town we, approve. we are making a recommendation to the town. <coughs> no, as our number the one, board. we recommend select to the board. Select, board. select board. As the number one priority is the wastewater treatment plant. Right. So that the, the select board spend nine hundred fifty five thousand seven hundred sixty dollars. The select board slash sewer commission. No, I don't the think select we're... board. Okay. It's just a I don't board. think we're recommending we they spend. I think we're recommending that it's needed. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I mean, we have enough documentation to right. show that we are going to be outlaying money. Right, it's no going to be left to the town voters. Obviously, switch words. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Potentially. doesn't in the long run. Like, who cares? All right. So, so we recommend this amount based on Prickett, Prickett Engineering's projected plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Is that your motion, Jack? <laughs> well, I don't. I didn't make a motion. I, I did. That, it sounds really good. It sounds really good. I like it. I like it. it was, I like it. I, I think that's exactly what I heard. So it's second. <laughs> right. That's one I seconded. All right. So if there's no further discussion, we'll vote it. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? And. I'll abstain. So it's five zero one. All right. The second item, uh, the police department radio upgrade. Is there a motion there? I make that motion. Is there a second? Second. Second. Okay. Any discussion? This is another one that may come back to us, so I, and I love this one. Right. Because, yes, spend it, but if it, we right, end up they, being reimbursed, then you right. can. So well, we're hustling. This is pretty, I, we this should, is pretty we should, cut and dry. We're going to get some free radios. It's just a question of how, how many, many free yeah, radios. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. And we're hustling on that. Yeah. And we and may not need the whole 45. Right. 
And well, not, kudos to the chief. That's great. Yeah. And so. the price, as the state um, is buying so many, the price has come substantially down. It was six thousand dollars. I'm sure you remember that. It was yeah. six thousand right. dollars yeah. initially, but now they're. The last I heard, it was twenty two hundred dollars. So yeah. they're getting cheaper and cheaper. So this number is probably not going to be accurate um, for us, but. Yeah. It was based on the information at the and time. And it's a very substantial upgrade for the safety of all the communities. Um, and it will be offset. Um, it will be offset by no assessment to the emergency radio system um, because we will be migrating over to the state 800 system. So we will save that assessment from the police station, the EMS, the highway department, uh, not the highway, the two fire districts. Okay, so we have a motion and seconded. Put it to vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Sustain? Six zero zero. Third on the list, Highway Department F three fifty truck with nine foot plow, forty thousand dollars. Is there a motion? I make that motion. Seconded. Second. So it's been, motion's been made, it's been seconded. Any discussion? Okay, put it to a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Six zero zero. Just for clarification, what we're, what we're doing is Recommending to the select board our approval of these projects, right? Of our recommendations, right. These are just recommendations from this committee. That's all All we can do as a committee is recommend. Again, number four is the Skims Ambulance with a price tag of... Should we... Are we... Are we we're voting based on their priority, correct? Right, that's why so they're this, listed. This will be submitted with the votes, the, the list right. in order? Right, okay. Carolyn, right. Carolyn has that list okay. and she's going down through now. Right. Yeah. Pending financing. Right. Skims Ambulance, uh, obviously this will be coming out of retained earnings, 243000 for a new ambulance, uh, and that is to replace their international. <laughs> Uh, is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve. To is the there a second? Select board that the town spend or scam spent two hundred forty-three thousand on an ambulance. Okay. Second. Second. Se okay. All right. Seconded. Any discussion? I just want to say the um, uh, scams uh, oversight board has not officially voted on this yet. We're still investigating other options, but. It does not make, again, I, I, it just does not make sense to keep putting money into the international and having it being broken down and having to drive to Springfield, leave it yeah. off. And then, I mean, you're tying up so much staff time and um, downtime on our ambulance. So. Okay, so. Well, and this is a plan, this is a planned purchase. Right. This is, yes, but yes. we're this bumping it up. It's a year earlier. It's, it's, it's a year early. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's a year, year ahead of time. We. Have discussed that, mm -hmm. yep. this but we do before. have an official request there. Yes. Now, right. Board of Oversight, they have not voted on this. No, we're we're due to vote on it on um, February 26. I think is our next meeting. February 26. So, as a committee, should we wait for the Board of Oversight to vote on this and put well, this? Well, has been hold? a request already, right? So, yeah. yeah. And we yeah. received yeah. a request. So. Yeah. Or do we? I, I think the argument. There's enough information that the argument is sound. It's just that the Board of Oversight wanted to make sure that there were no other options that were less expensive or that would bump us, carry us through the next year. That's all. Okay. So there's been a, a motion yes, made. It's been okay. seconded. Any further discussion? No. Okay. Put it to vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Substain. Six zero zero. Okay, 
we have now uh, number five, elementary school uh, door hardware for 12,000. I make that motion. I just want to check that it's number. 12,500. 12,500 should be that oh, number. Instead make a 12, motion 000. for 12,500. And this is the third year of a three-year project? Correct? Yes, yeah. this mm -hmm. is the third year of a three-year project. We no, had... Second year of a three-year project. The second year of three-year? Mm, well, there's nothing... Uh, Which the flooring 20, was there? Another year to go. I think it's okay, yeah, there is 2021, another year. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. For the flooring. No, the hardware. Oh, the hardware? Yeah. You're right, there's one more year to go. Yeah. I think this is the one that they've extended. The flooring was the one that we increased a thousand dollars. It's up to eighteen from seventeen. Just want to make sure it would be the third year of three, and they are extending it, I believe, to a fourth year because we approved 12 5 in 2018, we approved 12 5 in 2019, and they're requesting the 12 5 for 2020. I have also it right here. So something's right. Yeah, but that's an old five-year plan. Yeah, got to keep that. In mind. But this is what we've already we've already this is what we've already approved. But their request. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The request is extended. So we're only doing this one year, the okay. 2020. Well, for sure they're doing 2020. Right. Yeah. So well, we're gonna we're just gonna we're just going to vote for the 2020, and that is at 12:5. And you're probably right, John, if I remember correctly, they did uh, extend their request for the door hardware. So we'll vote the, for the year FY 2020, the 12-5. So I make a motion to uh, recommend the uh, re replacement door hardware for 12.5 for the elementary school. I already made a motion. Oh, you already made a motion? Yep. Oh, sorry. Well, I'll second the motion. Second. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. That sounds right. really good. <laughs> Is there any discussion? Okay, the motion has been made, seconded. Uh, we'll put it to a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Any substantions? No. Six zero zero. All right. The next number six, eighteen thousand for the elementary school flooring. I'll make that motion. Now the eighteen thousand uh, we had recommended seventeen thousand because this is the third year of a third of uh, three year plan. So should we amend the seventeen thousand that we had that had been recommended and passed to the eighteen thousand for this year yes. for twenty twenty? Yes, I, I made that motion. To correct, it's they've got another three years. Yeah, but we'll only we'll put that in the But your statement was it's the third year. Well, this it started back in twenty eighteen. Huh? This is it's, the third year of the it started back in twenty eighteen. We did twenty eighteen, we did twenty nineteen, this is the third year of 
2020. We're just increasing well, why it. Are they, why are they talking about 2021? I think they're projecting. They're part projecting of three more years continual after plan, this. But we haven't. Continual planning of it. So, and, we, and we increased it a thousand dollars just because um, the price had gone up a little bit. Correct. So a motion's been made to amend to eighteen thousand dollars. Is there a second? A second. Seconded. Any discussion? Okay, then we'll vote it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Six zero zero. Okay, number seven, elementary school restroom renovation, uh, request for 2020-15-3. Uh, I'll make that motion. Any second? Second. Seconded. Discussion? Do it. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> So the school's 27 years old, and the restrooms have never been. And they are awful. Oh, they're pretty rough. <laughs> yeah. they are I think we can so consider that a, yeah. a safety health issue. <laughs> Bruce, yeah, I believe they're doing the public restroom. Yes. Yes. That's what they're. Yeah. That's what. And this is oh. this is going to be. Uh, but it is. This is I mean, part of a long-term plan, no, also yeah. as far as replacing. It is to have have more cleanable surfaces, so I mean, right. it, is, it is, is actually a good, needful thing. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not just it needs to be done, but it should be done yep. from a public health sake point of view. Okay. Any further discussion? Okay. Motion's been made. It's been seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Six zero zero. Uh, no. <laughs> Elementary school gym floor request of fifteen five, fifteen thousand five hundred. Is there a motion? Um, I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second. So a motion is made, seconded. Discussion. Once again, the elementary gym floor is in pretty poor shape. Uh, this is 2020. This dollar amount is being voted or recommended so that they can sand, paint, and reseal that floor. And uh, once again, this is a step of maintenance, and they will be looking to uh, do this probably approximately every five years, depending on the condition of floor. So, okay. I wonder if there's another way to, instead of spending fifteen thousand dollars every five years, is another kind of floor or something they can put in. Yeah, is well, something else they can Bruce, I suggest we can buy everybody a pair of sneakers that they can wear. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, would help. That's a problem. Yeah. Tracking, yeah. Tracking, no, tracking seriously, dirt into sneakers the... do make a difference. Making well, sure everybody wears right, sneakers. It would be a lot cheaper than fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah. Of course. With the cost of sneakers nowadays, I don't yeah, know. <laughs> right. yeah, what, yeah. yeah, how much are these sneakers? <laughs> right. eight months. Are they going to be the two hundred fifty dollars <laughs> sneakers? Or they... Right. <laughs> so, okay. Any further discussion? So we had a motion seconded. Uh, put it to a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. I'll abstain. John. Okay, so we're five zero one. I don't think it looks that bad. That's another thing. Maybe I should abstain. Mm -hmm. so, no, I won't. But I agree with you. I don't even think it looks that bad. I roll around on it every week. Okay, number nine, the town common project. Planning. 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 Right. Um, I, I had like I said. Um, my understanding is the four hundred thousand is the maximum you can get a year. So. If you put down 40 for the first year, 40 for the second, and 25,000 for the third year, you would get your 400, 400, and 250,000 from the grant, potentially. As, and this is what this would be for. I mean, we're My spending 
How do I roll money? Um, design work. You have to have you have to have it the project ready to go to be in the pipeline. It, where's this grant money coming from? It's the complete, complete streets. streets. Um, Diane, do you have the okay. paperwork on that? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, Trevor was not be able to come tonight. Um, yes, this would be the complete streets funding. So it's not really a grant program in as much as well, I guess it is a grant, but it's a, a funding. Diana, program. can you just speak up a little louder and um, identify yourself? Oh, I'm sorry. People that might not know who you are. Sure. I'm Diana Schindler. I'm the interim town administrator. Um, so the Complete Streets program is a funding program through Mass DOT that allows you to use that money for um, projects that make your streets more multimodal um, for users. So what um, our first priority is is to focus on accessibility in the downtown in the South Deerfield Center. So that's the money Carolyn's referring to. So it does the, is the grant 100% grant or is there... <clears throat> The construction money is 100%, but the design is 100% borne by the town. So, um, <coughs> Carolyn's right. I think the funding is 450 a year, but it could be, or 450 a, a oh, time, I'm but sorry. it could be 400. If 400 or 450 is, is, sounds about right. So each time you can apply for up to that amount. You're not always going to get that amount. When we finish the prioritization planning process, which we just got funded, we got wholly funded through this program from DOT at 30, about $33,000. That money is going to be used to create a prioritization plan. And that, that plan will contain projects. It has to contain at least 15 projects that will be identified through um, using an engineer and some planning process. Um, that in a public engagement process as well and and that will have costs on it it'll have probable costs not you know absolute costs but that will give us our construction costs and that will be the funding that DOT bases there uh, if they if they give us complete streets money that's what they base it on on the request that was in and the email that uh, came with it. The question was, was DOT going to get involved with the common project or not? And there is some concern there that if they got involved that the uh, dollar amount that was requested uh, through that email could increase. And I, has that been figured out yet? Is yes. DOT getting involved with it? Is well, the, I think has that the dollar amount gone up? <clears throat> well, actually, so what was provided to you, I think, in, in the email, you know, was something that was given to us as, you know, sort of an estimate of what the probable cost could be to the town. Mm -hmm. I, I think what I would ask you to do is fund the tasks that we know are in front of us, which include the topic, topographical survey, the conceptual roadway design, and the final design, but at some lower costs, perhaps, because I think these costs can be massaged. I do think engineers, when they give you costs, they always give you the uppermost you know, value, but that's up to you. But, um, but I think some of this work can be borne by the town, like we can do some of that work. We don't expect the engineer to do the 100% engagement with DOT. We would work with D DOT, the town would. And then yeah. I think we would, so I think they were just putting all those possible costs of everything that they might possibly have to do for you, you know, and he's saying, and then there could be more. You know, the real, the real thing is going to be, if I think, you know, as we start to look at accessibility, if we have to do any infrastructure changes that require underground infrastructure or require um, right away, you know, those things cost money. But the, some of that would be born in the construction, but that's why we need the topographical survey and those right. things as part of the planning process, because we need to know what we're going to be facing for that as well. I can't, you know, I can't speak for the committee. As far as the project, I know a lot of people have been working on it very diligently and have put a lot of time into it, but it still seems like a moving target to me as far as because I really don't, I still don't understand uh, the total project and what's trying to be accomplished there, and so it's not defined. So to, to request you know, a hundred thousand dollars to be, you know, put into that without knowing how much that could grow or not grow. 
you know, I mean, we could be talking, what, you know, 300, 400,000, 500,000, we'd be talking a million dollars uh, on the project. And, and I, I'm just not sure about that. Myself, personally, I can't speak for the whole committee. I'm just one person. Mm -hmm. But those are my thoughts. I'm a little concerned. And I also, um, uh, there's been a couple of towns. Waitley ends up getting 209000 for their sidewalks. And it doesn't sound, according to the article, that they put up any money up front. And now they're going back after DOT uh, did this. Now they're going back and they're going to uh, the next step is the design phase, though the town does not yet have an engineer for the project. I guess my question is, on complete streets, how did they get awarded $209,000 with no money up front and no, you know, a general idea, mm -hmm. but no design or construction? And they're not the only one, Montague, Montague. all of a sudden. $311,000 they just received from DOT, and they're in the same, same thing. And we'll immediately begin the design process with the goal of bidding the four projects for construction starting, you know, later on. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess so, I'm a little confused mm -hmm. on how they're getting these grants right. without putting up any upfront money. Well, they're, they're, they're going to do the design after they've been awarded the grant, so now they're going to well, go and do the design. Why can't be awarded the grants? We can, and then we can do the design, but we're hopeful to do that in 2020. But why do we need to put up $100,000 to get the grant? Well, I'm not that's what I can't, that's I'm not, what I can't understand. You don't, and I'm not asking you to put up $100,000. I'm asking you to put up forty or forty-five, dollars so we can start the preliminary process so that if we get funded for the construction in 2020, we are ready to do the design in 2020. The same, I'm not saying we would do it before the grant, but I'm saying just as they're going to do the design, they have to have that money to do right. the design. I don't want to have to go back and get the right. design money I, voted. Right. I think it would but I be guess, helpful I to guess, have it voted. I guess and, once and, again, and we're trying to get the car before the horse, are we? I, I don't, I why, don't. Why, why can't, I guess, why can't we get the grant first? Is it a time Cause, thing? Because then... If they get the grant in 2020, <laughs> yes, then they're going to have to. We're going to have to have an emergency meeting to approve the Ford. This is or not an emergency. Jeff, this is, to go to a this is we're trying but to plan. I, but no. Jeff, we're Jeff, planning. what this yeah. is, we've never before did this in a in a capital plan layout. When we wanted to do grants like this, mm. what would happen is we would have a special town meeting. We we would have been awarded the grant, and we would go to a special town meeting and say. We got 400000 for to make the town right. common accessible. We need 40000 to start the design process. We would have a special town meeting, and that would be the end of it. We're trying to include this in the plan up front so that it can be part of our, pro of our capital planning process. This, I, this, is, I, this I, money won't I, be spent. I understand that. This but money won't be spent until we get the grant. But the, what we're trying to do is we've been, we got to, t two times we went through complete streets kind of stuff. And then the programs have ended before we were able to get to the actual money. So what Diana has done and, and um, Wendy did is they took the information that we had from prior work. We have a really active committee and they're trying to do this for 2020, not 2021. That's all. But grants will be available for 2021. Yes, and we'll come back for. So, so and the reason why if, we're using if up we to don't, four. so if we don't, if we don't get this started in 2020, and we spend more time planning this and applying for those grants ahead of time, grants will still be available in 2021. So right. we we could do this, follow the process, and still establish what we want to do, but just spend a little more time with it. I feel, I, myself personally, and again, this is my personal thought, this might not have anything to do with the committee. Uh, everybody has their own opinion, and obviously you do. But I, but I just feel uncomfortable asking people to commit money 
to a, to a moving target again. And especially when it just, well, it just, it sounds like, it sounds like if, if, and I know, again, it takes some patience, but if we go through the process correctly, the money can still be there. Do we get it in 2020? No, we might not get the project done in 2020. Can we get it done in 2021? Yeah. And we'll know the, what we want to complete, and we'll know what the dollar cost is when we go to vote it. But we wouldn't be but able to start. They get it in 20, can I, suppose yeah. they get it in 2020. Then there's been no vote for the soft costs. So they can have a special town meeting the way they do No, anyway, but right? no, but as far as the committee goes, our recommendation, if we don't vote it now. Well, then they can make the request. The they can make the request. Right, so now we have one of those emergency meetings we were talking about. We've been doing, We're trying it. To avoid We've been doing it all along that. here, John. See, I just feel like I, I'm, I'm with Jeff that. How about if we word it this? This way? just seems well, this like such a such a vague proposal. But it's not you vague know, because people it, it, have been working on this for years, and the problem is Charlie Baker is only in office for another three years. Well, if so, Carolyn, though, if people have been working on it for years, why don't we have any kind of a written proposal? Other than a last because minute you have email to jump from the engineering firm. You have to jump through each governor's program's hoops. Can, well, can, I, can, I, but, and but, also, but, can I answer that? But our that citizens. Why? The, can I the, answer that? Why? No, but no, but wait a minute. I'm not done. <laughs> you know, the citizens of Deerfield, whether they know it or not, depend on us to make recommendations based on our investigation, our questioning of department heads our consideration of the, the value of the project or, or, or the expenditure. And, you know, last week the request was 97,000. This, this week it's 40,000 or 45,000, you just said. It's 40 or 45,000. So I just, I'm with Jeff. I don't feel comfortable recommending that we spend any of this money until the proposal is more concrete so and let's in writing. Motion. Let's make that motion. We approve the 40000 once they have been awarded the grant. Why can't we do that? We approve it. If they get the money, don't we all agree it's okay to spend it? Jeff if we knew no, now, if but, we but knew now that they had the money, would we have a problem spending the forty? So yeah, I, I would have a problem because I still haven't had a clearly defined what's happening on the town common. Well, we have no idea what's happening on the town common. We know there's a town common project. We understand that. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying we don't understand the extent of the project. We're talking about sidewalks. We're talking about crosswalks. We're talking about possible uh, landscaping. We're talking about possible lighting. But none of that's been really clearly defined. And yeah, I, what if you were halfway through the project, you run out of your money? Right. No, and then what do you I do? just. That's why you. That's why I'm sorry, Bruce. You have a comment. Okay. Well, but let me. I, I'll say one more thing, Diana. Then, and that because I think one of the things is that we can't have a defined project because we don't have somebody to make that defined project. That's what this is about. This is right. about. Yeah. yeah I, but we can't I have it unless that. we pay for it. We can't have a defined project unless we ask for a defined project. We're not going to ask for a defined project unless we get this. Um, well, I, it's complete streets grant. Right, so yeah, but, but we can get the street grant from the way this sounds. Right. We got two towns here, uh, Waitley being one and Montague being another. $209,000 they received with just so, an well, idea I'm not and $311,000 they received. I hear you. With so, just what an I'm idea. saying is that, and I, I hear what you're saying, that the grant comes and then they say, okay, now we're going to make a design. The fact is we're asking for the design money and the grant money at the same time. Now, you could say, why don't we just be patient? And, and to whom, who is going to present this to us? Because the fact of the matter is, unlike having Kevin come to us, unlike having Zach come to us, unlike having um, mm -hmm. John come to us, there's not, like, there are people from the town. So to wit, that's, that's one of the things that's exciting about this Complete Streets project is that we have community engagement. And if we're bringing this to the town, we're saying we're eager to make this downtown accessible. We're eager to make to invest in the downtown. That that engages more people at the town meeting. Once again, I, I come back with this idea that one of the things that we do at a town meeting is engage our population of people who are there ready to be engaged. 
And so, like John says, it's not like we're saying, oh, spend $40,000 and cross your fingers that we're going to get. No, you get awarded grant. the money. You get awarded the money, and then this goes to it in terms of for design. So then somebody else can come back to us and say, okay, this is what a design could look like. And we say, no, we don't want the shrub there, we want the shrub there. We don't want the lights there, we want the lights there. But that project that you're looking for, somebody to come and present to us, isn't going to come unless we pay for it to come to us. Right? I don't think we have to pay for it. I think it's right here with us being patient for another year. You think it, they pay for it, the design? That's what it says right here in these articles, that the design no, is no, the, that's the not design true. is being done now that they've received the grant by the town. The towns are now what, how I look at it is that they've gotten the money from, they've got the construction money, and now they're going to do the design. And I'm proposing the exact same process, that we would get the construction money, and then we would do the design. But you're asking me to give you what I project for 2020 right. as being what I need, and that's what I'm telling you. I project that I need this money that I expect to get for the construction. I don't know the exact amount. I might only get 280. I might only need 28,000. Well, I'm just asking you to make a recommendation based on the projection that I could possibly get 400000 so $40,000. Right. Now, let me be clear. Let me, please, please let okay. me finish. I've, please, can I please talk? You both spoke a lot. I want to be clear that I'm talking about the Complete Streets project that is with DOT that I have been working on for this past year that I have done the outreach on and that is based on accessibility in the downtown. The town common committee has skin in the game that they have been working on the town common project since the mid 90s and they've had plan after plan after plan and I say plan loosely meaning they've had landscape architecture done they had don't have we've had the, the meetings and meetings many many public <coughs> meetings many discussions about about doing work on the common so it seemed like when I got here that it made a lot of sense to integrate these projects because anything you do on the common has to connect to the exterior part of the common, which is what we expect to be looking at through the Complete <coughs> Streets project. So that's how these projects got intertwined. That's why you got the information that you should, I don't think you should have gotten this email. I'm sorry that you got this email. It's offensive because this is all just conjecture. It's up to us to sort of determine how, or I feel as the administrator, it's up to me to determine how I can get this project done. And I'm telling you that we can get these costs down. And I think 10% of the amount of the construction is a fair amount to set aside for, for the design. I just think, Diana, that as the interim town administrator, you could make a formal in writing proposal to this committee because we have to do our due, due diligence and we need something in writing. That's why, that's why every department is requested to put in a written request by December 1st. Mm -hmm. Yes, I apologize. You know, apologize. and, and I, we, and we, yes. you know, we, that's a, that's a moving target, that's fine. But you come to us with nothing. You know, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I have to vote no just based on that. I don't know what more. I do feel that. And we talked about this before. I don't know more, though. what more I could bring you. I don't, as, as I've said, I don't. I'll, you I could have bring this, us a piece of paper that, that, just says, that says what you just said. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Bruce, didn't we get one from? I thought you did get one from Trevor. That I, first, basically I thought we did too for 75,000. And then it was 97,000. Anything compared to and now what it's you were 40 talking about. or 45,000. You know, I, I, I'm just well, like, wait, you see what, I, I, you see what I'm saying? Up? How can how can we, as if we're doing our job for the citizens of Deerfield, vote on such a vague proposal? In fairness to them, yeah, this is what we. In would fairness say. to them, right. we as a committee are saying, give us what you want for 2020. Well, they don't know. They know they're well, going to they, need something. 
Okay. I can't well, might, vote. Wait, I can't can I, vote. Can, can I, I don't I, can know. I, can I finish? Uh, yep, go ahead. They might, they might need it and they might not. But we have asked them for what they need. And she's just replying with that. Or, or Trevor is, whoever is. So, well, so Trevor's request is for 75000 so she's just writing. reduced it. Well, I think that, you know, ideally. Okay, so I stand I, corrected. There is yes. a written request from. Yes, and I'm asking you to just to, to give us the 45. And Trevor and Trevor. I did discuss that. Um, or from again, the Town Common Improvement Plan. Right. I think the Town Whatever. Common Committee is going to be looking for that. But they can look to CPC. They can look in other places. You mean they want 75000 No, 45 in addition. No, 30 in addition to the 45. We may. I think that the project is going to, it's not, it is a multi-year project. You're at, what, what Jeff said or Carolyn said is correct, that this, you could do, there's, we, we haven't done the preliminary plan yet or the prioritization plan, but my expectation is there will be a multi-layer amount of things you can do that's going to be up to the town to decide how intricate you want my, to get. My concern with that, So Diana, right it, now I just want to deal with the accessibility. But... <laughs> Which but my concern with that, back. Diana, is it's not going to be done uh, in the proper sequence by trying to do piecemeal. And I brought this up to Trevor. You know, there is talk about lighting and so on and so forth, landscape. We go through and we do the first phase. All of a sudden, second or third phase, we come back and, oops, we shouldn't have done the sidewalk there because we've got to do a planting or we've got to run some wires mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. and, and so all of a sudden, you're going back and you could potentially be redoing things, let's put it that way, at additional cost. Right now, you know, you're asking for 40000 I understand that, and I, as I said before, I'm not saying no to the town common what needs to be done. What I'm saying is, is that there's not enough information to vote to recommend spending money on that project yet and what's the overall you know are you going to try to start it and then grow it in this next phase and this next phase and add this on add this on that's like that's like you know trying to build a house and start in the middle well, you know it's it just not going to work <laughs> bruce you had uh, a um, i just my bruce on our saying gully road so do you feel i do this for a living mm -hmm. um i heard diana say that We've received thirty-nine thousand dollars for a study of what thirty-three of what our prioritization would be for a certain area in town. We haven't even defined the area. That's right. That's correct. So the area needs to be defined of what we want to look at for sidewalks. Once that area is prioritized, there'll be individual projects within that. The state requires that you have 15 projects in your list. The $40,000 that Diana, I believe, is asking for is for either one, two, or three of those projects to do the base plans and schematic design for maybe one or two, three, maybe, depending on the scope mm -hmm. and, and whatever the project is. So there really is a significant unknown until the first phase of this, the $33,000 grant is completed. That's going to take public input. It's not going to happen in three months, six months. Potentially, it could happen in six. Six, right. That's what we project, six months. So by mid, mid to end summer, they'll have a better idea of what they want to apply for for construction. At that point, they could apply for construction receive a grant. I don't know what their funding timeline is. October is the first one. They, it's two times a year. So October. you can apply in October, then you would hear sometime in January, December, January, February. Mm -hmm. Then we'll be looking at designing the project. So the funding that Diane is asking for, not knowing how much that the project will cost for design, is $40,000, and which would be spent sometime March, April, May, June. Right. So I'm not sure why forty thousand dollars was picked because there's because no way in the world that anybody can tell what the projects that you want to do <laughs> and how much is going to cost until Bruce, so it was, you have a project. 
It was just based on the it's maximum a, amount. Another, another placeholder. Yeah. Yes. It was we, just based on the maximum. In this town. Yeah. We do a lot of placeholding in this town. So I think it's, it, it makes some sense to have money set aside for design of something. The dollar value doesn't mean 40 this year, 40 next year, and 25 the following. That doesn't really make any sense. But there is a need to get a base plan, schematic design, with public input before you even, you can't even apply for construction. You don't even know how much it's going to cost until you've done that. That's my concern. So you it's can apply for a project. The engineer is going to say, yeah, we want to take 1,500 feet of sidewalk, and it's going to cost you $350,000. That's a good guess. Then he applies for it, and they give you 250 or 300. Then he designs within that range, and he, his fee is developed upon what that project is. So you could have 40, you might spend 20, and the 40 and the 20 goes back to free cash. I don't believe you're going to be carrying over money. So that's just my take on it. Um, there is Question, a need for some money. What if we spend 40 and find out that we only get, say, 100? And yet the project well, is going to cost three hundred and fifty. You don't spend it, it, until, you don't spend it until you get the grant. That's the key. Right. So if you don't get a grant in twenty twenty, then not you don't spend gain anything. That's right. So we just no. make our approval That's subject right. to them getting the grant. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Bruce. The, the idea is to, to avoid all this business in emergency meetings later on in the year, and then have to add it in. I mean, you're, you're going to have a certain amount of those just because, you know, opportunities pop up. But we, we, ha we know we want to do the complete streets. It has been a priority for people in town to do sidewalks and to do something about the town common so it's accessible with wheelchairs and that the walkways, you know, match up. We're going to have a new restaurant in Jerry's, Jerry's old place, and we have, you know, the sidewalks don't match up with the, you know, um, the accessibility of the sidewalk with the crosswalks. It, I mean, it's a serious, if you're in a wheelchair, it's a serious thing. So we're trying to fix that and be compliant by law and request. Thank you. Do we have a motion on the table yet? A lot of discussion. No. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of discussion. Thank, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, Diane. Diane. I'd like to make a motion. We recommend the town spend the estimated amount of forty thousand dollars, subject them to the town getting the grant. I second that. Okay, a grant for complete streets. Right, but I think it should be maybe spend ten up to ten percent of what we receive. What? Okay, for, there you go. Okay. I like that. That's good. Grant money. Yeah. So we get a hundred grand. Yeah, but that's, not, that, that's what that was based on. Is well, the, right, but I think it should but, be in yeah. there. And that's but fine. It's best to spell it out. That makes yeah. it that better, a better motion. I mean, that's the baseline kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the motion? Yeah, whatever. That, Bruce, da, 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 da. I think you need a dollar value so you can actually vote. Up to $40,000. Uh, 45, yeah, up to forty. Yeah, they, yeah up to 40000 Okay, so a motion has been made. It's been seconded. Any further discussion? Okay, who made the motion? John made the motion. Rachel seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Four. Two zero, and I'm voting yes. Just I, I think it needs to go in front of the town. Town. Yeah, no, no problem. Before, so, yeah. Okay, number ten. We have the highway department mini excavator for sixty-six thousand dollars. Let's do it motion first, and then we'll discuss after. Is there a motion for? I'd like to the make a motion department? not to recommend the mini excavator. Uh, 
let's see, how can we handle this? Can we handle it in a way to keep it positive as far as uh, we recommending or motion recommend in discussion or do you want to discuss first? Can we, could we put we it will, on hold? Well, I could make a motion not to recommend this year then we would encourage the highway department to resubmit their request in future years. Why? Do what? We, do we know we're not going to have enough money this year? We don't know. Could turn out to be a great year. And again, it's number 10 on our list. It is low enough so that it's a, exactly. So, well, I'm not sure what you're saying. <laughs> we don't know how much money we're going to have. Therefore, I mean, when I hear you say well, put it, it off, when I hear you say put it off a year, it makes it sound like we're gonna, we'll be able to afford it next year, but not this year. That's what that's what I'm hearing. I think the question. Well, we don't know if we can afford it this year. Right. Because we had year. this discussion. Right. Exactly. right. Yeah. The question also, I think, it, it's not just a money issue here. It's a need issue in that. And are we thoroughly convinced that it's needed? You have the backhoe. And that's done the work for the town for years. I understand what a mini excavator can do. Well, can we and, and they have, they have in the past, on a few occasions that they've needed it, they've been able to rent it. So you do have an option to, to rent as needed. And this just uh, came up out of the clear blue. It has not been in the five year plan. And so, uh, I guess kind of in the thought process of what Jack was, where he was heading maybe, was could we look at our five-year plan, which I have done, in the uh, 2023 year uh, for that, uh, 2023 year for the town highway department right now has a, a zero in the column for request. Would it be wise to take that mini excavator, stick it in the 2023 year as, as a place to put that and then take a look at this for the next couple of years. If there's a need, you can bump up that request. If there isn't a need, then you can let it sit and decide in year 2023 whether there is a need or not. Uh, you have a piece of equipment of Sixty-six thousand dollars. I guess my concern is, is how many hours of use is it actually going to get? And I hate to see equipment sitting idly. Now, well, I'm, I'm sure Kevin, Kevin said that he spent, he's been spending about two thousand a year right. to rent one. So that's like a. Except that he also said that he'd use some it of the more. yeah, he, that some of the projects would go differently and quickly. More, right. He would use it more, and they would go more quickly. So. And I think my, my take on this, and we haven't put a, we don't have a motion, so we're discussing before the no, motion. No, we have a motion. Oh, the motion, the motion not, is to, not, not to recommend. Not to recommend. <laughs> we haven't had it seconded yet. Or seconded, and then we'll have. But I, I think that um, to me, this is an interesting case of. I think that Kevin made a very good case for this. I think that he does rent it, and it, he isn't spending a lot to to to. Uh, Two thousand dollars. That's not a lot to right. to when he has to have it. Mm -hmm. But he did make a good case for the fact that this could take over a lot of things that he is doing with the backhoe, and that the backhoe then, as a backhoe is kind of moving out of service because it is an older piece of machine, this one would move into service. And it does sound like there are more projects that it would be uh, that there are uh, projects upcoming. Now that is the piece of it that makes me feel a little bit less pressed about it, and I know it's why we have it at 10. But I was just going to say, I, I cannot, um, I mean, it's very disappointing that we don't have the um, Mosquito District um, supervisor yet. And if we, had, if we had hired the supervisor by now, I'd say by spring, Kevin would have projects enough that it would be, um, you know, because obviously we would be trying to clean out ditches and stuff. And that is totally different. But we don't have a supervisor, and do we have money for a supervisor? So I, I, that's my concern. I have sit down personnel. That's the issue. We have 18 months of uh, salary for a supervisor, and then the Mosquito District has to be um, self-sustaining. Mm -hmm. You know, we had grant money. Right. So, so would they have to hire a whole new employee? 
to no, run no, no. Every... This is this is the no, not for the supervisor, but say this piece of equipment was out working 40 weeks no, no, instead no. of two, would there be another employee no, we would, that had to run the No, that was the idea of having um, hiring lawn mowing crew so that would free up our highway guys to be able to run this equipment. The, uh, right. We're working on a townwide conservation permit in the interim, so this is where Kevin is coming through. is Because we have a lot of problems with water in town, right. and we're trying to deal with it. And, and this was a needful piece of equipment if we were ready to go for the spring. But we're not ready to go, and it's very disappointing. And this has nothing to do with Kevin. Kevin was trying to respond to the fact that, you know, we were trying to get ready to go as a Mosquito District. Well, I think Kevin, made, Kevin and uh, Chuck made an excellent presentation. presentation. But, I, you know, the, I guess the way I'm thinking of, about all of these requests is, it, 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 my mind keeps going back to the sewage treatment plant upgrades. And if, you know, we've, we've recommended, a, you know, another million dollars of which the taxpayers are, are going to be on the hook for 250000 based on how mm -hmm. so, so the way I'm thinking about all of these requests is which ones are just not essential. You know, it, it right. fall under the category of this would be really nice to have, right. but can we get away without it? Um, it you know, sixty-six thousand dollars is sixty-six thousand dollars. You know, it's a lot of money in in my world. I, you know, that's, that's what I, I think. But and, ten, that's eleven, why I, twelve kind of fell to the bottom of our list. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's why I kind of suggested uh, so, uh, putting I, this into. <clears throat> The five-year plan at 2023. It's got a 15-year life. And revisit it. So that comes to like 4,400 a year for getting the time value of money. Right. Um, so we may see it may save us that amount of money. It may be a break right. even. And it was yeah. starting yeah. sooner. And it may it and it may not because now you have if you're going to be using this, now you have a bulldozer sitting over there, uh, being underutilized and I'm not bulldozer excuse me a backhoe now you have that backhoe sitting over there that you already paid for so it here you are you're adding an additional piece of equipment to a fairly long list of equipment for the highway department and I'm not saying it's not needed but with this you also have to remember that this item you don't drive to the work site it, you have to trailer it with truck to that work site. And, you know, Kevin's explanation, and I agree, that sometimes those spots get a little tight with that big backhoe, and I understand that. But now all of a sudden you've got the issue of either somebody's going to have to bring you and drop that vehicle off with, with the operator and go back to the town garage, or you're going to have to try to find some place to park the truck in the trailer uh, again, so uh, as far as the overall and being cost effective in that, I'm I'm not sure if if it would be. Uh, and once again, if we're going to say, hey, we're going to get rid of the backhoe and just do the mini excavator, that would be a different story. That yeah, if the, shine if the backhoe, a little different if light the on motor it, blew right. in the backhoe, then you know, right for that, sure, this would. This would make he sense. did say we asked him about the backhoe getting rid of it and he said did say once we and he has it on his request once we were able to establish the benefits of utilizing the mini we may be able to eliminate the need for the backhoe right we may yeah he doesn't know he's saying <laughs> he doesn't know he yeah doesn't no say. i I, under, I understand that but I've, I've worked in construction believe me you don't eliminate unless it unless the thing dies for the most part. And I'm not saying they wouldn't, but I just I just don't foresee that. I see it's another piece of equipment that uh, right now, as far as the amount of hours is in question, you have the bulldozer that can do, do the work, has done the work, and I, I think as far as assessing this, I think myself personally, it'd be a good, good, uh, piece to put in on that 2023 20, year five-year plan 
and we could assess it as time goes on. If they need it and there's a real need for it, we could bump that up in the five-year plan. And if there wasn't, then we could leave it where it is and decide at that time. That's my own thought process. So, uh, and once again, you know, everybody has their own opinion. That's more, you can voice, voice that. So, is there a motion or? Well, there is a motion, a motion. not from me, not to recommend. Well, let's, I guess, if, if you're voting If there's not, no second, then I would like to see it uh, bumped and put on the um, 2023 list. Because I agree with Jeff. The, the thing is, we do want to use it, if we can. But I'm just saying, um, my anticipation of using it this spring is not going to happen, as far as I know, unless something dramatically changes. So was that a second? <laughs> On Jack's motion? Do not no, recommend? There, no, there no. was no second. So I made a new motion that um, to put it in 2023 or 22. Yeah, it'd be 2023, I believe when I saw the five-year plan. So we can vote to not recommend for, for this year, and then we can do, I don't know if we need to vote to move it. Yes, we do. Well, they'll have, to re they'll have to request it again no, well, next year. We're, we're putting it into the list, and then he has to come up, and obviously he has to. Well, he, he, what he I would suggest, to, what I would suggest. He would have to, um, you know, justify it again. What I would. I think what I would suggest to try to keep this positive is for, and that's up to people, is put it up for vote in, in a positive light as far as uh, voting the mini excavator for the 2020 year. If you vote yes, it's recommended for the 2020 year. If you vote no, then it's voted down for the 2020 year and then we could go back and recommend to put it in the five-year plan for the 2023 year. Since we're saying no, why don't we give Kevin the opportunity to come in and talk about it some more? He has talked about it. I don't think we need to discuss it any further. I, uh, well, I see questions coming up tonight, whether it is a break even in the cash flow. There's, there was an invitation that sent out to everybody to be present tonight that we're doing this, that we're okay. voting them. All right. I'm aware of that. Yeah, that went out to everybody. I mean, I mean, I, I just feel like if if it's if it's not an essential, <clears throat> then you know, we vote we we voted to recommend a million dollars for the sewage treatment plan, right? For 2019, the taxpayer share is 250,000. 250,000. And now we've recommended another million dollars for 2020. The taxpayer share is another 250,000. So we've just recommended that the taxpayers spend $500,000. And how much? We also cash have a million dollars going to be 750 requested. 750, maybe. Right. We're also going to have a million dollars no being requested to Frontier Regional for their for their uh, capital plan. Skip. If if you if you voted to recommend a million dollars for this year and a million dollars for next year for the sewage treatment plan, that first million is the to take care of the immediate yeah. needs. Right. That second million is is the the first installment of a thirty five million dollar plan, mm -hmm. and I think you, we need to make sure that that's fully understood by everyone. That you're recommending a $35 million plan right. over 13 years. This is my right. And, and if you're right. not recommending that over 13 years, then I think you need to go back and take a look at it. And, and what is it that you're really recommending? Well, we haven't really been we haven't been presented with that though. We haven't been formally. We have crickets. It's been discussed. It's been discussed. Well, in the, we have in the project. We won't, we won't have anything definitive. No, I, we will I not have right anything definitive have 30, until we have the USDA grant. Um, 
one way or the that's, other. That's close. That's close enough for the time. Yeah, I don't have a problem. I mean, yeah. we don't. But we should we should have an answer in around you know sometime I mean, in the spring. But I, well, I don't know if it'll be in any prior case, to that, Well, that that just meeting. means we can't afford to buy anything. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That, I understand. Seriously, I we did we did start the meeting on this with pending funds. But yes, I think I think you, but we need to know that you know someplace along the way there's a there's a project out here. Total scope of the project is twenty nine. I don't know what the number is. It's thirty two million. Million. That's today and thirteen years from now. Jack, it'll, it'll Jack, it's really important. Million. It's really important to assess these. Are they needful or not? Yes, that's what not I'm whether there's money or not. Because if there's no money, that it never gets done. It gets bumped. And we've done that year after year after year. And the whole purpose of doing the plan is to have this laid out so people know what our expenses are, potentially, and that, this is, that every time there is not enough money, we are bumping the, our capital request to the next year and the next year. This is just a plan. We are voting the plan. If you don't support the project as not needful, then that's how you do it. It's not whether we have money or not, because we always don't do it if there's no money. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, that's a good point. And so we're never going to have the money for this mini excavator for the next 13 years. We at number 10, at well, number 10, well, when we know we have a million dollar yeah. layout for the, for the sewer treatment plant, I would say the chances of this mini excavator are close to zero at this point. OK? given the fact that the frontier capital projects are coming in as well. So I would say that this mini excavator is absolutely not going to get spent. But did Kevin make a good selling point for it? Yes. John, according to John, he did. I agree. He did. I was not here. But yes. and I just wanted to add in, in full disclosure, the reason why I'm not as 100% supportive of this is because I would have you be using this. If you live on North Main Street or Wapping Road, you want that mini ex excavator. That is yeah. your number one priority because up in Wapping Road, everybody's septic system is failing. And along North Ma uh, Main Street, they are absolutely having flooding of their houses. So you want that mini excavator. That is your number one priority. Well, that's why I was trying to soften the, the, the no recommendation and so I also, by saying you could present it again next year. But or, that's why I'm saying we need to discuss yeah. this. Is this needful? Then what happens is we come together for the money, and there's probably going to be no money for this, OK? The, the, if we, if we, if, if, when they do the town budget, and the other capital expenditures that we have to have, if we're not violating Proposition Two and a Half, then we have the money. If That's the right. people vote yes, we don't That's know right. yet. We don't know what that number is. Right. Right. And the, we don't know. Everyone on North Main Street and Wapping Road might come to town meeting and say, "I want that mini excavator." And so, guess what? It gets it gets supported. Well, but the bylaw does say, John, that we're supposed to consider the financial condition of the town. Yeah. But we don't know. We yeah. do know. We do yeah. know that it's dire, based on the sewage treatment plants. But it's we might have dire. Enough. But we might have enough. Yeah, I we guess thirty. That. Yes, thirty we million dollars have. could, no, could but fall not, from. But thirty million is not all this year, Jack. No, but it's still and being. Was, we're and still. And if we bond it, it's even less per year. You're gonna have to. It yeah, you're gonna be. have to at some time spend it. But let's get back to this. <laughs> that thirty if, million. If Kevin had come in and said, "Look, I'd like to." take this mini excavator and stick it into the five-year plan, I think all of us would have been a lot more receptive to come out of the blue for a $66,000 piece of equipment and want it today, you know, as far as in the FY20 here, it, it yeah, kind but of Jeff counters what the five-year plan was. And uh, to give them credit, they've they put a lot of time and energy into their five-year plus, basically, almost a 20-year plan as far as right down to maintenance and replacements and so on and so forth. That's why, myself personally, I'd feel much more comfortable taking this mini excavator and sticking it into 2023 where they have a zero in the column right now. 
and assess it from there. If we have to revisit it next year, fine, let's revisit it next year. If if there's you know if there's a need for uh, it's not like they have it's not like they're not going to be able to do any work because they don't have it this year. They've been working with the backhoe for years. They've been renting a, a mini uh, excavator for the few times that they've needed it, and you know there's no reason why that can't continue until we really get an assessment of how much need there is and if the other plays out then then we can act on it right now i'm just wondering if it'd be a little premature I, and i'm That's agreeing all. as a priority i'm agreeing that it could be a little premature he could rent it until we get this mosquito district thing sorted out and then i, so I make a second to jack's motion which would be just to clarify. But not recommended for fiscal year. 2020. 2020. So we'd have to vote yes to not recommend it? Right. Or would it be easier just to put it out there and if you don't want to recommend it, vote no. Keep it in the positive light. We could do that too. And okay. just, and just How vote. How does it keep it in the positive light? It keep it just, just make a recommendation to move the mini excavator for 66,000 have that seconded and then if people want to recommend it they vote yes if people don't want to recommend it you vote no I see, I see, I see. and if you vote it down yeah. then you go back and you decide whether you want to put it in the five-year plan for future consideration which it already is in the five -year plan. it's not in, in Kevin's not no, it's not. Right now, it's just this Here. year or, Here. or nothing. Oh, well, this is year one of the right. five year plan. Right. 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 Well, this is no, this is actually a budget year, but yes, technically. But it's a budget year. It's not really part of the <coughs> plan. You want to amend your motion? So I don't know how, I don't know <laughs> I how don't, you want to handle that. I don't know. I don't really want to make a motion to recommend. No, I, I think I we were. Know. I think we're fine if we if we use that motion and vote yes to not, and then we can maybe another motion to move it to the. Why don't we just make it one motion? Make it one motion. Or yeah, all one. No yeah, and then anything. and then Diana Diana can tell uh, Kevin that we're not mad at him or anything, and he can <laughs> request it again next year, and you know it, it's. We're gonna know, hire a super duper made a good, supervisor. He made a good case for, the, for it, but we, you know, we. I'm going to hire a super, super duper um, supervisor for the Mosquito District, and Kevin will be out there 24 7. Then it will be worth it. So, what's the motion then? So, the motion is not to recommend the purchase for, of the mini excavator for 2020. So, we'll do this in a two step motion. Why don't you just add to that? To to put it through the 2023 year. Yeah, make a pile of the same Don't you think that's right. his job to do that? Not ours. I, I mean, I, I'm confused. Yeah. I thought that yeah, that's, might not. that's his job. He maybe. says next year, next year, I'll use the backhoe. You guys think it's, it. I'll use know. more manpower. Yeah. Like I heard or him say this would be fewer people on his staff called to this particular job. Maybe he says I'm going to hire all those people and I'll keep my backhoe. That's his, that's his job as his, the superintendent of the department. I don't think it's our job to tell him he has to put that on his budget for next year. You can decide it's going to do something else altogether. Yeah. I'll. So I don't know. I mean, I just think I that that's, think that's a, a weird kind of way yeah. to say. That is a good point. That yeah. He has the option if he, he wants option to add that. it to the five-year plan. We trust his, his uh, judgment. We trusted it, you know. And we don't, we're not necessarily, not all of us are necessarily even voting against it. But, mm -hmm. um, but we're not voting against it because we think he made a poor um, it was a or 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 not, and not because we don't think no. that there's right. actual use for it in this town because there is use for it in this town already additionally there will be more use for it and so um, I think we're just voting it one way or the other because of we're our okay own your motion so, Jack. so the motion is not to recommend the mini excavator for the fiscal year 2020 and there's a is there a second yeah it's second to that okay so we understand this correctly. The motion is to not recommend. <laughs> it's been seconded. So if you vote yes on it, you're, you're voting not, to, not recommend to recommend. It. 
if you vote no on it, you want to recommend that. Can we no. put in language no. that we're not opposed Skip. to? I mean, yeah. that's not a valid motion. I know. That's weird, what I'm right? saying. Yeah. Reverse, it. reverse it. Support it, and then we vote support it for this year and vote it down. Yes, it's See, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay, so I'll withdraw my motion. <laughs> right. And he's with. <laughs> this is right. way too confusing. That's why I say keep it positive. And I'll, but I, yeah, I can't make a custom. motion to recommend it. Okay. Is there a motion to recommend this from anybody? I'll, I recommend Rachel's it. Rachel's totally. going to rector. I'll second it. Carolyn second it. Any further discussion? I'd Wait. like to change the. <laughs> well, I, I think I think we need to put it in the point. It's going to come out a no. I think it needs to be said yep. in the records that we're not opposed to the mini excavator. This is just not the year. And I think the minute should say that. Uh, so let's let's do this. Let's take our vote and then. So we'll we can just make the minutes yeah. say that. Yeah. yeah. Right. It doesn't have to be part of the motion. That's we can just discussion. write it. Right. Write into the minutes that. Uh, okay. Something so like motion, motion that the minutes say that. Yeah. <laughs> I will second that, John. The motion has been made for a vote to move the mini excavator at 66,000. Rachel made the motion. It's been seconded by Carolyn. Any further discussion? Okay. So a yes vote means you approve it, you make the recommendation of vote, a no vote is you're voting it down for this year anyways. All in favor? I, I, I know, I feel like we All opposed? <laughs> Abstain? Abstain. Because okay. we don't know how much money we're going to have. Right. Right. But that's actually why I voted so, for So, Carolyn, it. did you vote for or against? <laughs> I'm sorry. She voted for it. I voted for, but I, I'm, I'm, with, I'm in John's camp. So, so abstain. So I'm just going to abstain because... Um, I don't mind. I mean, I, I think in well, my yes vote is just to kind of finally say, yes. and I think I'm voting on behalf of everybody here, to say that it was a good presentation, yes. that we see the value of this to our DPW. They do a good job. They were thoughtful in their in the way that they presented the usage of it and how it would. Well, then don't change my vote, because, I, I mean, I feel the same way. It's just that okay, well, yes, well, I need, a, I need another piece of paper. District, I cannot <laughs> say that it's really right. worth it. <laughs> and I don't, think, I don't think we'll buy two it if four, we can't afford it. Two, four, three against, and <laughs> one not gonna, abstain. What is two, it? Three, one. Two, three, two, four, two, four, two, four, voting yes. two, four, one. Three, three, three against. Three voted against, and one abstain. I... Again, I agree. They did yeah, a no. nice job well, presentation. Yeah. I would highly recommend for them to uh, exactly. decide to put it in the five-year plan, yep. so we can yep. once again review it. At yep. least it'll be in there, and we know that a request will be coming. And seriously, we will use it a lot more if we have. Yeah, we'll, we'll depend on how it plays okay. out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move forward. Number eleven. The skims uh, response vehicle. I make a motion. We don't approve it. <laughs> you can't do that again. Uh, no, no, we gotta, we no, gotta. That's right. right. <laughs> we gotta be, make a positive motion and then vote it down if that's what you want. I just want to, for the minutes, I just want to say the skims oversight board has not oh. voted to oh, support man. this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Our meeting was um, canceled, I mean, right. uh, postponed, so. <laughs> Not <laughs> until they decide whether they can use a leftover police cruiser. Well, right. Right. that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, but that's I mean, right. as far as my this vote. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. So I move that we ex that we approve it. This is what I'm doing. Okay. Yes. I move that we approve it. Get it on and the I'll table. I'll second it. There we go. All right, so now any discussion? No. I just want to say it's very valid to have this. It's just that. You know, from a fiscal point of view, I don't feel comfortable spending 40000 at this point. Having a vehicle makes total sense, however. Yeah. I, I just feel that uh, for the purpose that it's going to serve, there might be some other alternatives compared to spending $40,000 on a new vehicle. And that's what we're trying to do. In, in, uh, but the concept. Right. Appreciate it. Right. And as far as at least what they explained to us, what Zach explained to us, uh, I, I just 
don't feel that we need to spend forty thousand. There's there's other options. And I think if they <clears throat> do decide to buy one, I would strongly suggest they buy a hybrid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're going to potentially have a police cruiser or something. Or a motorcycle. <laughs> okay, so do we have any... It is an idea. Well, do we a have any further motorcycle. discussion? I just was listening to that. Any further radio. discussion? So we have a motion. A it's been seconded. We have a motion. It's been seconded. No further discussion. All in favor of Skim's SUV vehicle for $40,000, aye. I'm voting aye because the concept is correct. Okay. Nay? I don't want to spend the nay. Voting nay. nay. All right. And abstaining. So we have one yes and five no's. So you can make a motion and then still vote no. That's the yes. See? This is that Jack couldn't do it because it was just constitutionally hurting him. <laughs> you know, we could have ended this meeting like a half an hour ago. <laughs> oh, I think we could have worked through some of that angst. Well, that's what I kept saying. We've got to keep, keep it in a it's positive emotion like instead of a <laughs> negative. On the priority list, we kind of... Yeah, we kind of... Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, number 12. It seemed like a we rubber stamp the to the uh, request seemed like from we were a rubber stamp committee to the, the audience until right. we got to the to the well, police the department Harvard. motorcycle lease buyout for thirteen thousand five hundred. Rachel had a good suggestion. I came from the peanut gallery over here. <laughs> They're just merged merge the motorcycle right. and the skims um, extra vehicle and <laughs> Okay, so now, do we have a motion on this? I will make that motion. Do we have a second? I will second. All right, so a motion has been made for the 35, I mean the 13-5, excuse me. It has been seconded. Discussion? I, I, I'm on the fence about it, so I'm going to abstain. Just heads up, because... It's a good PR thing, but I always worry about people getting hurt on that more often than... <laughs> just not pro-motorcycle. Yeah. Well, you know, I know it's just sort of putt-putt around here, but people truly don't see motorcycles, so I worry about that. And, um, but people love it, so I think the town should decide. Skip? If you buy the motorcycle, and it's going to be part of the uh, vehicle program. Uh, will that allow us to postpone purchasing a car? No, it's not a replacement car. <laughs> How did I know? That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did not hear that in the presentation. So can I ask the question why? Well, you it's not the it same. Extends the life, it extends the life of the cruisers a bit more, but you don't put enough miles on it to replace a cruiser. And the cruisers, the amount of... Uh, uh, miles and hours that we put on the cruisers um we that's our priority is to do patrols no, I, and to be I out understand. in the street i guess here's what i'm here's what i'm saying Please let's I'm, and i'm throwing these numbers out let's assume a cruise is good for 150,000 miles and that you have a motorcycle and you use it 15,000 miles a year then over a 10-year period you would say one year. Yeah. and that's what john actually does is he does um he, through the rotation, so he stretches is, it will, out. What year will we not have to buy a cruiser? <sighs> I missed that meeting, but I don't think there was. That but was, what we do, that was what we do, do is on the years that we are short of money, like we have in the past, we actually skip a cruiser. You know that. Well, so, we, bought it, we bought it in the fall, and so we don't okay. skip cruisers. No, no, no. I mean, like in 2008, 2009, when the economy crashed, we 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 skipped. During our discussion with the chief, he actually suggested that uh, we kind of look at this as far as being neutral and letting the town meeting decide it as far as people on the floor, let the voters decide this issue. Because I think we all kind of felt the same way. Uh, you, you, do see, you do see a little bit of a PR part of it 
but you also see it's another expense of is it really needed or not needed and uh, so so we could vote not to recommend in the select board can still put it on the board. The motion is on the table to recommend, to. and I already said I was going to abstain because I'm, I'm on the fence about this. Yeah. He, the, if I correct me if I'm wrong, please, but I believe the chief said he's on the fence. Yeah, I thought he so did, too. Yeah. I didn't. But I yeah, didn't he said, you know, about it. That that's just, why maybe we should just let people, the town People truly right. love yeah. it, but it's not a necessary thing, and it does extend the cruiser's life because that 15,000. That you put on it, or whatever, or five thousand a year, or whatever, it does he rotates the cruisers, so they it does string out the life of the but cruisers a little bit. We don't necessarily have to vote to recommend in order for it to go to town floor, do we? No. 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 Right. We could. I mean, we could actually. That's what I'm saying. If we voted. It's on the list, and all it says is either recommended or not. Okay. So, so if we didn't recommend it, the select board can still put it on. We just make it right. Still be on the Can still put it on to the. It will be on the list because it can't. It'll be on the list because it was a request. We could determine not to vote on it, which would mean we just simply say we didn't take any action on it. Well, we could all okay. If that's what we wanted to. Right. Yeah. Or we could we could just vote. Vote. Oh, right. We could just vote. So there's a there's a motion and there's a second. So. Do we have a motion and a second? Yeah, yes. we have a motion. Motion. And a second. Is there any Carol, other second. discussion? Okay, all in favor? All opposed? Opposed. Okay, we have two opposed. Three. Three opposed. So three no's I'm and abstain. 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 I'll abstain. Perfect. Three abstain. So zero, three, three. three. Good thing there wasn't 20 of you. Okay, so that completes. <laughs> <laughs> Here's midnight. I recommend that. See, this is what happens when you vote for everything in one night. It's That's true. But I think it is. I, yeah. <laughs> but I do like this way. I think while it seems yes, like I at the agree. beginning it was rubber stampy, that's because we did this work already. Yeah, we already did. Our, our, our votes that reflect that, that, that as we well. Have, yeah, yeah, we have a strong. Uh, feeling of how how this goes and I think that that's our job I mean I think that the, mm -hmm. you know there's nothing we, we're not making these recommendations the departments are that's their job and the select board is the one that's gonna you know filter well, we have to, one more filter and we have to figure out at the when we go to balance the budget what how much money there truly is right. to exactly. begin with so or what we're, how we're gonna finance all this yeah. stuff And to get the, the sense of looking out, I think that this Well, that was the point of right, putting down the stuff that yep. they were applying for grants, is that you are giving a heads up that it's it in the mix. And, and that you just don't have these random special town meetings all the time. I mean, you're still going to have random special town meetings, but because not as many. Because and emergencies. If I put more costs. That's why you're putting things in yeah. the town. But we know about this, so it's not an emergency okay. and it's not right, an see, unknown see, opportunity yeah. that just popped up. Yeah. Otherwise it would be really hard to read. Right. I'm going to have to watch all this to do your minutes. And my, and my uh, phone went dead. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, but it's, it's I, I got, like, I got to like number 10 maybe. You're and covered. Dead. Do you want to run down through the list and review these just to make sure we have everything? I think we're pretty solid. I think we're pretty solid and maybe pretty good. Uh, Everybody's good. good with it. If you yeah. get yeah. through the list, you'll end up arguing about it. I know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was just no my question. thought. We're pretty solid on it. <laughs> Let's just stay. Hold. I'm not that going to hold. Texas. All right. So uh, I would like to make a motion to adjourn. Let's set a date that. for our adjourn. next oh, meeting. Oh. Okay. And before you adjourn, I do have a question. Uh oh. Ask. Yep. Uh, I was I, one of the reasons that I came tonight was, was to say at some point in time, uh, I think the finance committee and the uh, capital improvement committee need to get together and Joint have meeting. you present the capital improvement plan to the, to the finance committee so that we know what it is. Right. And, uh, so that we can ask questions, I guess. 
know, well, when the, the board we of usually have a public meeting, hearing. We have the whole the board of selectmen. Yes. That, so that all three groups are together. Yeah, we try to do that for the public hearing. Yeah, but I mean, but it would be nice to prior to, to the yeah, public yeah. meeting. Yeah. You Just with the finance committee. I'm concerned yeah. about the finance. Did we get all the right. finances? Uh, right. And so, out okay. of curiosity, <laughs> no, you I'm know, sorry. Jeff, you basically sorry. finished with your plan at this point, or right. um, we've, we've got a little bit yeah. more to do. And in, in our next meeting, there's a few mm -hmm. things that we need to discuss. We want to we want to review. Uh, John's been doing a great job here with the five-year plan, mm -hmm. and so he's going to add some of what we've done tonight to that five-year plan. And also, we'll review that, but we also need to discuss as a committee, uh, knowing more or less get somewhat of an idea that finances could be very tight this year. Uh, if you remember correctly, in 18, we voted 200000 for the stabilization fund, capital stabilization fund. Last year, it was 250000 for the capital stabilization fund. We need to discuss as a committee if we are even going to try to request something for that stabilization fund this year, uh, you know, and or what dollar amount, because we do understand, once again, as we're going through this, that money is going to be tight. If, it, you know, if we decide to put something forward as a request, we have, if it gets voted down, it gets voted down. If it if it gets if there's money there and it gets approved, then great. We'd like to be able to try to continue building that fund, but we understand this year. I think as a group, we understand this year there's no guarantees on that. That's that's a separate. That was the last two years, I believe, separate article. Right. Uh, yes. Side of the cabinet. Yeah. Right. So I definitely you know I think everybody supported it. So you know I think. Go ahead and I guess my recommendation is to go ahead and, and think about the fact that, yeah, we need to do something, but it's we need to do something if the money is available. Right. And, you know, so just, I, I was just, just going like to say, I, I would like, I, I would hope that we would have on the Warren articles just the same thing a capital improvement mm -hmm. um, amount um, that or a capital transfer, right. and then we just, fund yes, right. and then we decide can we do another 250? But that would be towards the end when we right. see what well, we have for money. Throw it, throw it out, and we can, you know, we can yeah. adjust it up or we down. We can adjust it. Right at our next meeting, we'll discuss that. And so look, let over. me just raise this as a possibility. My hope, my hope was that by the end of this month, uh, the capital, the finance committee would have had a chance to go through everything. Since we missed last night. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be possible, but certainly by the first meeting in in March, which would be I think the fifth of March, uh, we should be at that point, and, and that's when I guess I'd like. Yes, to see. that's the fifth of March. Yeah, right. So I, that's when I'd like to see. To be the, honest, right. The three committees get together. Right. To be honest with there. you, what I'd like. What we're probably hoping as a committee is that we, if we can meet, if it works for the 20th, next Wednesday for everybody, to meet the Wednesday, finish up what we need to do here uh, with our five-year plan and, and or if there's going to be any request or not for the stabilization <coughs> fund, kind of clean that up. And then on the 27th, basically have it pretty much done Polished and ready to present to the finance committee and or finance and committee and select board or whatever the case may be is what I think we're shooting for um, as a committee. Two more well, I you know um, we the selectmen meet on the 20th, but we don't meet on the 27th. Okay. Um, we would be meeting again on the 6th of March. So how about the 5th then? That's sure that was the reason. I mean, it's. No. Because I know um, you thank guys you. meet on the, on the on the sixth. On the Thanks, six. Bruce. Thanks, Thanks Bruce. Uh, Skip, could we could we? Um, uh, you meet, guys, Jeff. Yeah. Can we meet on the sixth and not on the fifth? Well, I, th I, I think just to clean everything up. I don't know one more for sure. Yeah. To make that. sure, and could then we, and then I don't know if we really need the second one. Early or not. I was just going to leave that open. Could we? Could we meet? Yeah, just before the second meeting. 
on the six? Well, it wouldn't be just before. It'd be you know we need an hour or so before. Okay. So I don't know what time you're meeting. If you're meeting at six. Then maybe you can meet at seven. Okay. So yeah, that's fine. Anyways, you. So what are you thinking? March six. Yeah, first week in March. Let me put it there. So start at six o'clock with everybody. Yeah. And then, then the finance. Yeah. And then the selectmen's meeting would be at seven. Okay, so we'll do the finance committee, the CIPC committee, and the select board on, on March sixth. That March won't get us 6th. in trouble by missing our February deadline. No, because the selectmen normally don't meet on the twenty seventh. Okay. I am supposed to go to the Burnison select board. I was supposed to do that tonight but I transferred it to the 27th um, to talk about the Mosquito District. Okay. And I have a pipeline meeting on the March 5th. So I CIPC on the 6th? Then 6, 6 o'clock. 6, six and 6. In select. Six. Board. That sounds devilish. And, and I guess the, the last one, I should have said I had another. Uh, a year ago, in talking with South County EMS, the, the question the question of the status of the existing number two ambulance the old the, the Deer, old, Deerfield's old ambulance came up and I know that that thing needs to be replaced but we talked about the fact that the box that's on it is a good box it's not that old and could it be could we buy a chassis and put it on it I, I think that was what we were going to discuss on the 26th of we February. Did, we did ask Zach that, too. So here's the question that I'd like to get an answer to. What's the cost of doing that? Um, what's the cost? And then what's the cost of a new ambulance? And then from that, he, he did you can make your, I think you can make your decision. If he comes back and says it's going to be 250000 and I can buy a brand new one for 275000 then it's kind of like, oh, well. Right. But I haven't heard that figure, and I've asked for it, and I haven't gotten it, so I'm concerned. Right. We did. We did discuss that with Zach as far as as mm -hmm. far as taking the body and putting it on new chassis. Yep. <clears throat> Part yeah. of what they're doing with the they want basically our the explanation we got was the international has been breaking down, and so on and so oh, forth. Oh yeah. It's been Supposedly, the body of the international will not fit what they'd like to do is get it onto uh, Ford so all of them would be Ford supposedly the body of the international would not fit a Ford chassis so where that leaves us I don't know but that was the explanation we well, received well, we were supposed to have um, February 7th meeting that was postponed to the 26th and so we were going to ask um, of alternatives to the chase vehicle, you know, to cut back on wear and tear on the ambulances as well as intercepts costs. Um, and also um, was the box cost, because Zach was going to run that down to get more definitive figures. He had, he'd gotten some loose estimates, but we, we were going to get it in writing. Yeah, I mean, I, I know that, that you're not going to be able to just pick it up and drop it. Okay. But to say, I, I, get, I guess I get concerned when somebody says, well, no, we can't pick it up and drop it. But not only can we not pick it up and drop it, we can't do anything. Just, there's just no way that you can, it's kind of like. Well, like the frame might be, the frame might be wider or narrower of a new, so a new, you, you new, new some chassis. Sort of something to, so you can't. Right. Well. Can we get something custom made? I mean, you could, I guess if you. It's all custom built. Yeah. I guess if you. If you spend enough money, you can do right. anything. Well, that's it. I mean, how much is that? Yeah. That's the question. Yeah. And like but I said, it might be it easy or it be... might be really hard. Right. Well, it, it may be, if that's the case, case, then fine. We, but we, you have the information to make yeah. the judgment. When were you? I, it, there was downtime in, involved in that, and I, I'm sorry, I can't remember exactly yeah. what the downtime was on that as well. Right. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how. Board of Oversight does, and that's a question I think the Finance Committee can again address when they come in. Well, I was kind of hoping that you'd address it and it'd be all done and over with. Well, we did try, we did try to address yeah. it. Well, Believe it, me, like it, said, it was discussed. I think we felt satisfied. 
I mean, I did I, at the time, and Jack talked to about that. Right. that kind well, of the thing. right, yeah, you can the do anything for right. this much money, but the biggest thing was the, and and I'm not a mechanic. And I don't know if anybody here, Jack, would probably have the best idea. Mm -hmm. Would be if that international body would really fit a Ford chassis, or if it could be adapted to do that. I guess that's the that's right. the question. I I that I don't know. Yeah, and I don't, I don't, there's no way of knowing until you. Right. We'd have to get somebody I, I just don't have the, the numbers off the top of my head, but though we, numbers were discussed, and so we're getting further detail and, and get it in writing for our, discuss, our meeting on the 26th. And again, it's not anything to do with Zach. We had no quorum on the, on the February 7th. So the meeting, the next time that everybody was in town was and available was February 26. Okay, can we set a date here for this committee? Uh, it's been determined that the three committees are going to meet. I thought we were going to do it on the 20th. March 6, but, well, we did. We threw out the 20th and the 27th. Can Skip, you had mentioned you can't make can the, the 20th. 20th couldn't be. It's iffy with me. So, it's 27th. It's 27th. I just won't be here, but that's okay. 27th at five. Yep. No, that's fine. I just we just want to make sure we have enough for a quorum. Oh no, I agree. I agree. I just I had I already just committed to a meeting. So 27th at five, and as far as agenda, Jack, do you mind doing that again? I appreciate that. We'll uh, review the five-year plan, and we'll also also discuss. Uh, uh, a request for the capital stabilization fund. Is there anything else that anybody thinks we need to have on the agenda? No, pretty much covers it. Okay, so the 27th at 5 o'clock. Okay, do we have a motion for an adjournment here? I think yes. we did. I made, I made a motion. Jack made that motion. And Do I we have a second? I seconded it. Been seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to stay here another 15 minutes? Just 15 minutes. I guess I lost. Yeah, I guess so. So, so you, I guess you, we're done. You're already, you're already two minutes over, three minutes over your two hours, and that's what yeah, happens. Yeah, that's, that's enough.